Welcome back to Daytime Toronto. It's gotten a whole lot more fun here in just a matter of minutes. We have performers from Avenue Q. We have Jackie Martin, Natasha Strilchuk, and Adam Norad here with us. And we also have two other friends who I'm sorry don't know their names. Hi, me Trekkie Monster. <laughs> and I'm Lucy. Now, Avenue Q has been going on for a very long time, and it's a story of a, a Princeton story of somebody coming of age in the city. What is to expect of this play? Now, you guys have been going on for a long time. Is there any new additions to look forward to? Uh, we have a few new members in the cast, myself, Jackie. Um, there's a few people taking over in July and things like that, so I think it'll have a fresh new take. Yeah, because you can go see it again. It's good to see for mm -hmm. the first time. It's at the Ossington Theatre, a spectacular show, and you guys get some really good reviews. Yeah. Yeah, we've actually we've had a lot of good reviewers come, and uh, the show is enjoyable for a very wide audience. I'm gesturing with my. I don't know who to look at. I'll make here. He'll pay attention too. And uh, no, the show is is uh, a, a very wide demographic will enjoy it. And having new cast members, uh, it always livens the show up. That sounds fantastic. And you guys have. The songs are all the raves in the reviews. I heard the songs are called like the joy of life. They have got some really great quotes on that. <laughs> yeah. You're actually going to perform one of the songs for us today, right? Yeah. Now I really want to get to that. It's okay if I just get out of your way. <laughs> Go for okay. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See ya. <laughs> the Around the Clock is proud to present, fresh from her world tour, headlining in Amsterdam, Bangkok, in Celebration, Florida. Please give. Me you feel special when it sucks to be you let me make you feel special for an hour or two your life's a routine that repeats each day no one cares who you are Hard. Yeah! <laughs> nice work! <laughs> Lucy, your voice is absolutely impeccable. How did you train for this role? Well, there's a lot you can learn on the street, you know. I mean, at school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to a puppet. <laughs> I have to ask you guys specifically, how do you train with this type of work? I mean, you're, you got a castmate on your arm. Uh, for me, this is the first time I've ever done puppeteering, and we're working with um, Mike Peterson, who worked with Jim Henson on The Muppets and Fraggle Rock, and so he's done a lot of stuff for us that, uh, it's been crazy. My arm hurts. <laughs> it's, the, the amount of physical work yeah. that goes into it is unbelievable. Do you have like a Popeye arm? Is one arm super strong now? Uh, right now, yes, yeah. <laughs> but Adam gets to um, Oh yeah, I, I was because uh, I was here for the original production, and I made sure that, uh, depending on the scene, he was on different arms, because they do get very heavy, so I didn't want to be lopsided. Fantastic. Lucky. Can you give us a tip on how to puppeteer? Just a, a beginner's tip. Um, always follow with your, uh, your middle finger is generally how you uh, get them to look in the direction that you want. If you can imagine, you know, going like that, 
And that's what we call the puppet brain is that knuckle there. And mm -hmm. that's you see something and you brain it in and then you react to it. Very cool. And you're almost stuck with an expression here, but I feel the mood change, the tone change. There's so much that goes into puppeteering mm -hmm. and your body language as well, too. So you guys have been doing the show every single night. Do you find that you learn new tips or get closer with the puppet every time? Um, yeah, you do. And you, as with any performance, you actually, you'll find things, a different thing every night and you either go, oh, I really like that. Or you go, why did I do that? And so, <laughs> and, but yeah, just because you have a puppet, it, it really is an, an extension of yourself and it becomes another actor on stage with you. Now you are a non puppeteer, but you yeah. work with your fellow actors. How do you find working with puppets? It's difficult at first because you have to get used to looking at the puppet and not at the actor because you're so used to reacting to a human being that you can get distracted because there's two different things going on. And sometimes there is even like two puppets on one arm and you're looking and reacting based on that. But it's fun and they always give something new and you always find a freshness in your own reactions because they're always fresh. You know? What's the reaction been like from the audience? How do they, I know that the reviews love the show, but how do the audience usually react to the show? Um, the audience is so close to the actors, literally the front row comes right onto the stage. Um, and so it's amazing to see people's faces light up when, you know, someone comes just like that and, <laughs> and right into your face. And it's, it's shocking for people and, and they just, you can see how much they enjoy it. And that fuels us to just keep going and, and to, you know, not be afraid to be big and over the top with characters like Trekkie Monster and Lucy the Slut, who are ridiculous in and of themselves. You have to give them that sort of life for them to make sense on stage. I think the whole entire show, well, it's about coming of age. It's about enjoying life. And I love the synopsis because it ends with a really bright spot. It's a, it's a happy ending. Yeah. So we've got a character who comes in, meets some beautiful, fun characters. And in the end, we learn to appreciate all different sides of life, both puppet and human. You guys have been fantastic. For more information, go to avenueq.ca. Now, this is a show that's been given rave reviews in the Globe and Mail and Now Magazine, and you don't want to miss it. Do we have one more quick little ditty we can sing? Oh, uh, all this stuff are far too inappropriate for daytime television. <laughs> It's good for me. I loved it. You guys are fantastic. I want to hug the puppet. Is that okay? Thank you. Oh, I got a kiss. I got a puppet kiss.